Magnesium deficiency, do you have it? You very well might. Make sure you watch this video and we'll go through causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Magnesium is an essential mineral that you have to obtain from your diet. Your body does not make it. It's involved in over 300 enzymatic reactions. It's important for your, your neurons to be able to communicate to each other, your brain cells is important for your muscles to relax after contraction, and so much more. What are some symptoms of magnesium deficiency? Well, mental ones include depression, anxiety, irritability, the inabil inability to focus, to have mental clarity. Muscle symptoms include tense muscles, muscle cramps, muscle weakness, muscle soreness. It can also cause bone loss. As your body tries to regulate the amount of magnesium in your blood, it will try to leach it out of the cells within your body and then also out of the bone. Your bone is made up of calcium and phosphorus, but also magnesium, and it will use that magnesium, pulling it out of your bones to make sure that you have enough, resulting in bone loss if you don't have enough magnesium. Magnesium deficiency can also cause problems with your cardiovascular system and constipation. They've actually, in hospitals with the cardiovascular issues, there is a high correlation with magnesium deficiency and myocardial infarction or heart attack. So, magnesium, very important. What causes magnesium deficiency? There's three good things that I can talk to you about and it's really as a result of our society. Number one, stress. We are so highly stressed. We have so many demands that are put upon us and that stress makes our body lose a lot of magnesium through our urine. And to kind of compensate for that stress, we're pumping our bodies full of all this caffeine, these rock star drinks, coffee, caffeine pills, which leads me to cause number two, which is diuretics. Coffee, caffeine, rock star energy drinks, those are diuretics. So is alcohol and certain blood pressure medications known as water pills known as loop diuretics, such as furosemide. These diuretics lead to magnesium loss of your body through the urine once again. Okay, number three, sugar. Refined carbohydrates, those really sweet sugars, th that is gonna cause a lot of magnesium from your body to be lost. So make sure that you are trying to minimize those three risk factors that cause magnesium deficiency. How do we diagnose magnesium deficiency? Well, you would think that serum magnesium would be a good indicator of whether you are magnesium deficient. That is not the case in actuality. The amount in your cells is different from the amount in your serum. So you need not a serum magnesium test, but you need to request from your doctor a SpectraCell test. SpectraCell is a company that has an advanced way to assay the cell to determine the intracellular amount of magnesium, which is important for all these reactions in your body. So how do we treat magnesium deficiency? We know we have magnesium deficiency, whether we have all these symptoms and we want to just try a supplement, um, or we've actually gone and done a test and determined that we have magnesium deficiency. Well, you can take a simple capsule or tablet, but I would advise you not to take magnesium oxide. It's one of the most poorly absorbed forms of magnesium, and strangely enough, it is the most commonly prescribed and dispensed form of magnesium that uh, is given to patients. So make sure that you do yourself a favor and get a magnesium supplement that your body can actually absorb. Get a magne magnesium citrate supplement. A great one that is available in a powder that you mix into water and just chug it down is Natural Calm. I highly recommend that. It's worked extremely well for friends, family, patients that I've talked to in the pharmacy. And uh, if you wanna learn more about that, make sure that you watch the video that I did on that supplement. It's one of probably my top five supplements that I highly recommend. All right guys, magnesium deficiency. It's something very easy to correct. So if you feel that you may have a magnesium deficiency, make sure that you check out and get a good supplement and uh, investigate this matter further and make sure that you're uh, taking care of your health. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. And if I didn't answer any questions that you might have had, make sure that you ask down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get right back to you. So please like the video if it was helpful to you and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.